honoring the Holy Spirit of God, the one that spared my life, caused me to be in your presence once more. Come on, worship the Lord. Come on, worship the Lord. Tonight, no good that I have done, but because of his excellent mercies towards me. I also want to greet my Archbishop, uh, Reverend Mother Perry Pastor Brown, the speaker for the night, Overseer Wallace, Apostle Wallace, sorry, Apostle Wallace, other bishop, pastors, members, youth department, musicians, greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, worship the Lord. Come on, worship the Lord. Come on, worship the Lord. It's an honor for me to be in the presence of the Lord once more. Come on, worship the Lord. Come on, worship the Lord. Come on, put your hands together for Pastor Brown in the way she had done our introduction in Jesus' name. Uh, coming to open our exaltation is no other person than missionary Lawrence in Jesus' name. Shall we worship the Lord? I am excited to be in the house of God. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Just to lift up my hands and worship is the accursed thing or things within my life that I need to take away. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? And we need to just sit down and check ourselves. Shall we praise the Lord? Because sometimes we might look at the things that everybody know about. But what about We can do better. Come on, worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, worship the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, last night, oh, maybe they here and everybody, she said, me, that we could manage. You see what the Lord has done? You see, once you push and you push out, trust me, we can have a little heaven down here today. Come on, worship the Lord. Come on, worship the Lord. Hallelujah.
Princess Grey coming to exhort the church in Jesus. Let's leave this. We like to point fingers. We like to live like the soul sin is greater than some. Meaning all the sin, and we all so righteous. But he said if we have no sin in us, the truth is not there. Meaning that we are deceiving our own self. We are born in sin and shame in iniquity. It was because of one man disobedient that left us all a sinner. And that's the sin of Adam and Eve in the garden. That caused us all to be a sinner. And what we need to understand, that one man's sin does not just affect one individual. But when God is charging, we charge the nation. So when we look and we are saying, one of the kids that you are adults over this song. You are the gay person over this song. And we are separating ourselves. But we said in the Bible, Take the beam out of your eye before you go and pick it out of somebody else's eye. Because we all have sin and come short to the glory of God. So what God is saying unto us, purify yourselves, sanctify yourselves, and come to him. When he says sanctify yourselves, he said unto us, repent in our heart. Repent and come to him. Because we all have a problem that we need to come to God about. So stop pointing your finger. Stop being a hypocrite. Just, just stop being the drug. And allow him, God, to be the drug. We are your born God. And we are all children of the most high God. We are just little children. We all have made mistakes. None of us that even stand in the pulpit here. Get out so we have no sin. We're sinning over tardies and over action. See when we don't evil, know it. Yes. So if you want to hear that, stop playing for the adulterer. The gossiper, stop playing for the liar. Because we all have something that we need to pick the beam yes. out of our eye before we take it off our brother's eye. And it says when God charges, he's charging the one. The near son. Yes. When he can't bring the Babylonian garment, he doesn't want to just charge the icon. But he said unto them,
Prince Court, Bishop Old, Minister Old Pastor, and Minister Old Pastor, my brother and friend, Minister Willisai Prince.
something about the scripture that I love. And it's the fact that when Joshua realized the preacher is coming, that's all right. That the Israelites lost the, the battle. battle. My God, something. Joshua happened. went down. Yes. And he started to talk to Caesar. He yes. started to cry out to God. Yes. He wanted to know what was happening. My God. And I believe the Bible tells us that is when the Lord let Joshua know that sin was in the camp. Come on, worship the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> 
but Jesus, the blessed Savior, and he will lead us in the way we go. You see, many are long from valley, many deep waters go. It is a hard way to travel. And the mighty now we should go. Let me take it the greatest pleasure into being here for the second time and the first time to bring the word. Worship God. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. God said to John, tell the people about it. You can't act or you can't cool. Either you act or you cool. If you're lukewarm, you're going to free your home. And I come with no new doctrine on this side. I come with the same old, same old. From the year one until the year 2024. So if you come tonight for something else than the word, you're at the wrong place tonight. And I don't come to, to, to preach any blessing to anybody. I come to tell you that unless he repent, he shall likewise, he shall likewise perish. So from last week until now, you have been hearing, take away the accursing from among you. And you have heard a different dynamic speaker speak the word. Uh, but I am a speaker that loves to go in the world. Yes. So I'm not going to go over the fence and I'm not going to tell you near my deal. I'm not going to tell you nothing but the I undiluted word. word. And I want the young people to say, of the vision. Because how can a young man cleanse his way? But by taking heed unto the word of God. You see, there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And when he goes to the prayer, he said to be carnally minded, but to be spiritually minded in the life of Jesus. So we are going to know who is after the flesh. Now, where is the pastor Wally? She's not here. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. So when we analyze Joshua 6, 7, and 8, the commandment was given not to touch of the accursed thing. Uh, because when you touch of the accursed thing, there will be a portion. And when we analyze, there was a disobedience in the camp. And when the disobedience come along, Sin to come to life. And the Bible said, when sin has come to life, oh, when it finish, I get it. Come on, let's go on. So we understand that the sin of earth has came to life, yes. and you see the reward for sin. Come on, let's go on. We're going to have to try to do my message tonight. Let's go on. Oh, yeah. So when the reward of the sin comes, yes. they're going to come by all. And you're going to take out by your family. Uh -huh. And you're going to destroy everything in you know, your family. Worship the Lord. Yeah. But what we get to understand is that when we obey the word of God, you cannot go wrong. The Bible told me that in Genesis, Abraham wanted something for God. And when God gave Abraham the son, God told us that Abraham carry him up because he was sacrificing. Abraham didn't say, Oh Lord, this is my only son. He never said, God, this is my pride and God. He said, I'm going to go up there. I will go to the light. He will read the word of God. So I'm going to show you something that when they obey the word of God, uh, it's life and peace. So when they disobey God, the Bible says, two roads is to four roads. Six or four. In Deuteronomy 30 from 15 verse 2. The Bible says, there is life and death, and good and evil. So you're supposed to know which road you're traveling tonight. Worship God. Worship God. Sanctify yourself. 
Sanctify yourself. Sanctify yourself. I hear Paul tell the Colossians that to mortify the members of your body. Mortify the members of your body. So if you see where sin is becoming to get fixed. The Bible says when you get a sore, you tell leave the sore and don't cure the sore. The sore starts to be for worse and worse. So when you understand when the accursing was removed, there is victory. With the accursing, you shall be defeated. But when you remove the accursing, ah, you're victorious. So when you analyze from Joshua 6, 7, and 8, the commandment was given. Do not touch the family who are in the And when you touch it, lies will be lost. 36 men die. Because of disobedience. But the Bible reminded us that to obey is better than a sacrifice tonight. And I'm not going to stray from your topic. I'm going to stay on the topic. But I want to show you something. That when God chose you, you must be under the umbrella of God. So I think it's first Kings 11, 12, and 13. The Bible said Solomon started to do his own thing. Solomon, the Bible said Solomon started doing the wooing of his heavy. From foreign women. So the Bible said his servant served for him. So the year was served for him. I'm you 10 and the 12 tribes of Israel. And they were just leave two in the house of David. So the Bible tells us that Jerobon and Rehobon started to war over the tribes of Israel. But God told Rehobon that I give Jerobon the authority to take the ten tribes of Israel. So the Bible says that when Jerobon get the ten tribes, the Bible says Jerobon, he never want to go up to Jerusalem to worship. He never want to go up to, to, to Jerusalem to worship. So the Bible said, Jeroboam made some idols. He made some altars that is not of God. So the Bible said that he sent a young prophet to tear down the altar that Jeroboam had built up. The Bible said when Jeroboam tear down the altar, there was an old prophet. Seeking after the young prophet, yes. it's better to obey than to disobey. For the will of God in tonight, church. So the Bible says that Jeroboam disobey God. God sent the old prophet, the young prophet rather, to tell him to tear down the altar. Jeroboam went ahead and tear down the altar. But there was not a commandment. God said. Sorry, the young prophet. God the commandment. God said to him, when you're going to that, and I won't want, I don't want to lock in nobody house. I don't want to eat on nobody table. I don't want to drink from nobody. You don't want to be touching nothing down there. So the Bible said that when the young prophet was journeying back home. The young prophet, the old prophet, sent his sons after him. And said, come man. Go, 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 go. Yes. Yes. The Lord said, if we come back to you, sometimes we listen to the still voice. Sometimes we must listen to the voice of God. So the Bible said, the young prophet went back into the house of the old prophet. And he eat and drink with the old prophet. And I ever wait for your feet from people. And I ever wait for all your feet from people. Because you will just find yourself. Come on and bless the Lord. Come on and worship the Lord. So the Bible said, when the young prophet went back, and he eats and he drinks, the Bible said, a true word came to the old prophet from God. The man said, because God said, because they do this thing, they're going to make a lion tear in the ground. But I'm going to make the lion tear in your heart if you don't obey his word. 
So the Bible said, he went down and a lion tear him apart. Yes, and the funny thing about it is the lion not even eat his body. No, the Bible said the lion doesn't turn over my man and look back and never look. Bless everything. We have to be careful, brethren. We have to be careful of what we are doing. For we are a holy nation. We are set up. We can't do what the Baptist ever do. We can't do what the, the, the seven years ever do. We cannot do what the media news that are found. We don't depend on the Baptist team. We don't depend on the Baptist team. Because my grandmother always told me to speak to her that they come full stuck here. You know? That the era can be edified. Edification time now. We are the young people that come up with us to do a 60. Different from 61. Come on and bless the Lord. Come on and worship the Lord. Come on and bless the Lord. So the Bible says, the young prophet died. But Jeroboam didn't listen to the boy. He continued to do what he wanted to do. And there was a prophet in that land. The Bible said, Jeroboam sent him wise to the prophet. And when he sent his wife to the prophet, he said to the wife, Wife, this guy is a Don't let the prophet know say, I'm me. And my wife will come to it. But the Bible said that when she opened the prophet's door, the prophet said, Yo, you are the wife of Jonah Boy. We know you're not this guy is a Because I know who you are. And she said, The moment you step in your house, your son is going to take. Because he did not obey the voice of God. Brethren, seek for the things that are about. Don't seek for the material things. Do not seek for the material things. And the Bible said that when she went back, the son died. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And you know, when I analyze the scriptures, when I analyze the scriptures, brethren, you have to understand that there is a Straight here. Uh, the Bible says, God is the way that leads to destruction. But straight is the way, and narrow is that gear. And only few. And I hear my brother said in Revelation that God told John to throw the people in sorry to strengthen the things which are remain that are ready to die. What are these things that we are talking about? Paul said to the followers that mortify your fornication self. Mortify your unclean self. Your inordinate affection. Your evil content and covetous self. Those are the first things. And you have to understand that Paul had to write the message to the people of his cult. Because they understand that fornication become a regular thing. They do it under evil business. They do it with some short liberty. They do not have no fear for God. So he said to Timothy, Timothy, in the last year's perilous time shall come. Perilous time shall come. Men become lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. We are talking about the accursed thing. So if that Timothy is a Timothy, I want you to take these things from among you. I want you to take away suspicious things. I want you to take away first things. I just do it slowly not by the whole stuff. And of being serious. So we do unthankful in the Lord of God. We do unholy. We have the natural affection. So we are choose great power. Come on and bless the Lord. Come on and bless the Lord. So we are fathers accuser. Three accusers. We do I mind it. Of God. Come on and bless the Lord. Come on and bless the Lord. That our form of godliness 
but the night will come on. We don't want to farm a party day. We want to rule a party day. We want to rule a party day. We don't want to farm. We don't want 50%. We want 100%. Come on, let's go, Lord. 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 For the time is coming. We're so we're not going to endure sound doctrine. Yes. It is a Peter. Peter, I tell you about coming. These people now they want to hear sound doctrine. Yes. They will have the after them all the love. Yes. And we understand that Achan, he looked at it first. And as he looked at it, it took it. As he looked at it, you're coming in. Because you're going to let me die. And then everything's glitter. And glue. So they have to see it. And you're coming in. And when you're coming in, you're going to take it out. And when you're taking it out, you're going to have pearls and pearls. But help me. To steal it from that throne. And then you are working all the day. So you have to understand that when you're you are hiding from the church. And you are hiding from the archbishop. And you are hiding from the pastor. The Bible says that anti eyes are always watching us. The Bible says that now we're going to do this all the time. It's in here. They don't want to hear what you have to say. They don't want to hear the word again. They want to blow the band. They want to pray. They want to they want to go up with that in the Chinese. But on that great judgment morning, uh, on that it's not it's not a kind of reverse spirit and no, don't go through it at the end of the day. If I go call, you buy a new here. If say I go change the name in that city. If you don't see the one that can do with this, you see, if you feel like there is an accursing from above you tonight, I implore you, Patrick. Examine yourself. You have a chance. It gives us time in everything. Because if you understand, you can have time to remove it before the children of Israel go to back to a high. He had a time to remove your sin. For your freedom to remove your sin. So when you understand the book of James, you see a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. So you can't be at first tonight and you want to dance tomorrow. And you can't be at first tonight and you want to drink rum over the top. And you want to do your own thing. It cannot work for you. the 12 tribes of Israel, which were scattered abroad, brought because God, when your father and your die was, temptation, knowing that your destiny will try. But he said, blessed is the man that is during temptation, for when he is tried, he will receive a crown of life. What the Lord promised you. He promised to pilot your ship safely too. And if you hope can you know him for his promises true. From every great storm there is an arbor for you tonight. Uh, and you are safe with the pilot who master the sea. But James realized he realized that when you are tempted. You are drawn away by your own lust. And he said, when you're drawn away by your own lust, sin has a conceive. Your lust has a conceive into sin. And when it finished, is death. So we have a time to dream. We have a time to fix up our body. To pass it to the Roman to present their body. As a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, 
Whiskey is a very reasonable service. Come on, Mr. Lord. Come on, Mr. Lord. Come on, Mr. Lord. So, you have an opportunity to take away. But here the church will make known. The Bible said while John was on the Isle of Patmos, the Bible said the angel told for John Rana to talk to the seven church which are in Asia. He said unto the church in Ephesus, right? You are the seven stars. You are the seven kind of fish. You are so holy people from there. You are so spiritual leaders from there. But nevertheless, I have come what I gave to you tonight. Yes. Something is wrong. Yes. You have lost your first love. Yes. If you remember, dear poor, when thou hast fallen, repent and do the first work. Yes. For if you do not remove it, yes. I will come and remove your candlestick. Yes. Then I will come and remove your candlestick. And when the candlestick is moved, great is coming. You cannot walk because you're in darkness. Let us get back to our first love. Me not talk your first love in a private school or high school. Me not talk or you're not talk. I'm talking about the man that walked two miles from Pilatus to Calvary. You see, he died for sin, not of his own, but for Adam's fallen race. It is no sin, people, that when we understand the revelation, all of revelation is time for us to repent. And as our brother said, be watchful and check the thing which remain that are ready to die. For if you will not watch, I will come upon you. Like a thief in the night, and you will not know his power. I will come upon thee. If we are sleeping, we are up. We are in the literal sleep between. We are up out of your bed. Somebody needs to sleep too much. Let us wake up in Zion. Let us join the thing which remain that are ready to die. Come on and bless the Lord. Come on and worship the Lord. Come on and worship the Lord. Obedience, brethren, is better than sacrifice. And over in the book of Revelation, Revelation 8. The Bible says that an alarm will be thrown 
But I want you to bring it back to Revelation 7. The Bible says, God told the angel, I want him to go down. And I want him to steal from people with a sign. The seal of God. He sealed 144,000. So 12,000 from the 12th tribe of Israel. So that when the angel come out, the, the bottom is the open. You see, when the look of about him, about judgment from people, they will jump on only those who don't have the seal of God. So let us check out this. Do we have the fruit of the Spirit? Are some of us peaceful? Are some of us lovers of God? Do we have humility? Do us, are some of us, we have humbleness? We have meekness? How are we humble tonight? Are we humble between? When you have the occurrence, you your busy body in the other people, my child. I'm not busy for your girl, my child. You're not busy for your mother, Virgin. For he said to them, Behold, I come it as a thief. You see, blessed are those who watch and keep your garment clean unless you walk naked and you come here. Him tell me that when the seventh angel will pour out his own into the earth, the Bible said a lone voice will cry from the temple of heaven. Uh, the Bible said a noise like a thunder, a noise like lightning. Those who are unclean spirits. Cannot enter there. Some people gather with them uncleanness. But I want to be in blue here tonight, brethren. No sin cannot enter there. Not even the other part of my sin cannot enter in there. For you have to be in your apartment. Unless you repent, you shall likewise perish. be your apartment. But render your heart will not your garment tonight. For if you are unholy, if you are unholy, be unholy still. But if you are right for be right for And if you are filthy, it will be sad talk. The someone that is standing outside the four cars, standing outside the night, knowing that with that demon, heaven you will abide. But so will be going to heaven, brethren. Just the others will be denied. Oh, what an awful picture! Standing outside. Then your book will be open and another book. And if your name is not in that book, or if your name is not written in that book, what a woe! Woe unto the bishop and the pastor tonight who will leave their flock of spirit. When we get to understand that Joshua. Prior to them going to church, there we go. They have to sanctify themselves in order to pull down church. So when God analyzes that city, that is, 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 so they didn't wait to God for sanctification. Joshua said they must fly out the land and they come back. And they told Joshua, just stand up you, man. But you know what the hunters and veterans? It's the way they can identify your sin. 
and you can go down in a sock cloth and ashes. And you pray to God and say, God, I can see at the only. I can see the commit to give it in your sight. For me, can I look my ears in and tell you, say, please, you see. Every time you have to turn it, see it to the wall. So we need to turn it, see it to the wall. I will talk to God. Now go sit up on the people in my town like a plea. Go sit up like a pure and white. When you know you're messed up, keep one side. When you call them to the money. Alright, come on, let's go. I'm okay. When you call them to the exit, I'm okay. The answer sounds. So let's sit and put short of the glory. But the old I come quickly. And my reward is with you. To pay every man according as his work shall be. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, but the Bible says, old side are like dogs and dogs are on. So who will mumble those side? But if you keep my commandment, if you keep my commandment, you shall have access to the tree of life. I want you to understand, brethren, that in the beginning, Adam got a commandment not to touch of a particular tree. I want you to understand that when the serpent came to the woman and said, Woman, oh, every tree in the garden you can eat, man. Every tree you can eat, who can eat the tree, man? Who is it that you can eat of the tree? So when we analyze that, Eve said, we can eat. We can eat. We can put a party and go eat. We can have a best and go eat. We can have a wealth and go eat. We can have a self and go eat. But do not eat of this tree. So when they eat of the tree, and they analyze it, they can know what the truth is now. But they do not come and call Adam. But Adam is hide. Why do people don't hide? Why do people don't hide? They love walk at night, late at night too. Why do you hide? You don't fuck them. Come on and bless the Lord. Come on and bless the Lord. Come on and bless the Lord. Let you have access to the throne of grace. Why do we have access to the throne of grace? Because a question was asked, who will go and die? Father was born and raised. And an answer was given. And he went and he got prepared in the body to be in the soil and to endure the pain. Supported by his word. And he went ahead and he died. And it's because of that bridge, we're not to make, we're not to kill no good. To our sin offering. We don't have to slay and not let the cows go and sit off this bread drink. We don't have to kill the chicken and not go to our sin offering. Just go down to the party, my friend. Just tell it, Father, I have sinned against thee. And I am no worthy to be called your son. Make me a one of your higher servant. I don't want to be a higher servant. I don't want to do much. I don't want to be a hired servant. Paul gets a man that said that Timothy, they are living down some place, you know. But some people down there, they're not going to give heed to seduce his spirit. They're not going to give heed to the Lord. So we're going to love to seduce his name. We're going to love some people, we're going to be in our bedroom. We have a love to bow down, see him, we have a drink, we will run, see him, we have a love to serve the thing, but let me employ you tonight. You have to drop off the garment. 
You have to check out the authority. You have to circumcise your heart. Go ahead. For a clean land and a pure heart. They shall see God. This is a point that man wants to die. But after that, there comes the judgment. Bible said, when the first trumpet of the Lord shall sound, every head shall rise in Christ. If the righteous can be seriously sealed, what is left for the sinner and the ungodly sinner? Let none hear you either say that there is nothing that you can do. You see, while the soul of man is dying, it calls you. It calls you a long time, but you are idle. You love to see so much. You love to take people, man. You love to take people, woman. Uh, you love to put away your wife. You love to put away your husband. You love to the man go for but you have to remove the authority from you. For first men tonight, come and I see ten. If I see men, I come and defy for yourself. He was not ready. We have to take away the accuracy. It's easy, you know, easy to trust God. But it's easy to trust your friend. It's easy, you know, easy to trust God enough. But it's easy to trust your friend. When your friend says, I don't want to buy something until next week. You lend them the five grand. Two years out, you tell me the five grand. But trust God. You shall never feel it. You see, when you, it's hard to live holy as what is the thing. But we have to. If we want to inherit the kingdom of God, we have to live holy. It is a requirement. For I am holy. We have to live holy like virgin. And we can't come two weeks of new convention. And we tie it all night. And when you depart from me, I know you're not. It is end time, brethren. And unless we repent, we shall likewise perish. For righteousness exalts the nation to us. Sin is a reproach unto any man. But how can we be sealed? The man asked that, that all can be I still? He said, so you have to be born of the water, the spirit, and the blood. Brethren, tonight, let me implore you once again. If there's a sinner, there's a savior. Don't watch the other people. In. Don't watch them, because they have a own duty. If they do not tell the people that to repent, is he God tell is he to tell them about tell them a you and a liam? But if you tell them and they don't hear, he that I can hear, let him hear what the spirit. Say, on the church, God bless you, God keep you back to your father.